Don't fall for the wiles of the devil. Every day the devil is trying to tempt us, okay? Because the devil is cunning, he is manipulative. So he is tempting us so that we can be distracted. So he's placing distractions in your life so that you do not fulfill your purpose, you know, your calling. And some of these distractions are, you know, social media, the news at times. He places people in your life to speak out against you or to war against you and to tell you that what you're doing is wrong, okay? That serving the Lord, okay, it's wrong because I have experienced this, but don't fall for it. Listen to what God is telling you to do. If he tells you, I need you to be at this place, I need you to do this, then do it because God is telling you the right thing. But the enemy... He knows how to trap people, so be careful of that, falling for his traps. Um, he also tempts people with gifts and, you know, material things. Like, be careful of that too, you know, of people just randomly just giving you gifts at times or, you know, just be careful of that because he's trying to trap you in a way where you're going to fall for this and things are not going to go out. As planned so be careful with that as well um, with money as well like he's gonna try this is how you know you enslave yourself is by you know trying to acquire money and you know and that's your main goal is just getting money 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 he will trap you okay and that is the root of oppression Okay, the love of money. So be careful with that. And, you know, just like in the story of Adam and Eve, where Adam and Eve, uh, God told them to not eat of the tree of knowledge, you know, of good and evil. Because if they do, you know, they will be cursed. And they fell for the wiles of the enemy. They were tempted by the enemy. And they didn't listen to God, and they ate of that tree. And we all know what happened because of their sin. We we're all, you know, have fallen. We have all uh, inherit, you know, we all inherit this sinful nature, and we're slaves to sin. But it was Christ that set us free from being enslaved to sin. So. Just be careful with the enemy. He's clever, he's cunning, he's man manipulative, and he uses the things that we love to tempt us and to trap us. So be very careful and listen to God. Again, listen to God. What is God telling you? Okay, go to him every day in prayer and in meditation. Allow the spirit of the Lord to speak to you so that you can know what is God instructing you to do. Okay? For God's wisdom is far more precious than rubies and jewels, material possessions. It's far more precious because his wisdom literally can save your life. So listen to the Lord. Again, listen to the Lord. Silence the voice of the enemy, okay? Try spending a lot more time alone with the Lord. And uh, abstain yourself from... You know, food, you know, fast, you know, food, drinking, you know, social media, you know, television, all these other distractions. Abstain yourself from these things and spend time with the Lord so you can hear from the Lord. What is he instructing you to do? What is he telling you to do? Okay, this is the only way that we do not fall for the enemy's traps. And um, we know what our purposes and what we've been called to do. So that is all. God bless you.